Alright, it's been five days since I switched to flour. This is what we are looking at now. Honestly, I feel the need to defoliate again. Um, but I'm not sure if you can and should do that when you're flouring. So that's something I'm going to have to look into. And if anybody knows, please give me some advice. The leaves are... Some of the leaves are pretty huge. Um, Jim. Still being Jim. Let's see here. Some, I noticed some issues with James. You see like a tear in the leaf there. A little bit of issues on the tips of that leaf, um, but nothing, he has more, some more tip issues there, nothing too crazy, so I'm thinking just a few issues here and there are probably fine, uh, I think the size of the leaf back there. to worry about too much, hopefully. Let's take a look under the hood. I looked under here a day or two ago, um, and I noticed the roots uh, were exploding with little small hairs. Yeah, I think, see how this is way fuzzier? Like little hairs coming out of the main hairs. That's good. Alright everyone, I am going to do some trimming. I am also going to attempt to take clones again. So I got some water here. I cleaned out um, that little reservoir that I have by the window. And I'm going to pH the water and make sure there's no nutrients. So hopefully the clones do better this time. But uh, let's take a look here. These are the leaves. I am going to do a lighter trimming than usual. Um, these are huge leaves. I'm going to leave the fan leaves that are getting light. I'm only going to remove the leaves at the bottom third and some of the branches. And I'm only going to take some of the branches from James as James is actually healthy. So I will show you what they look like after the trimming. All right, trimming is done. So these are the clones that I cut. I am going to go put them into the windowsill box and uh, see if I do a little better on this, this round. It shouldn't look that different from the top, uh, but it should look a lot more clear down here. So I know I've absolutely said this before, but I'm really hoping that is my last defoliation. You know, at this point, they're supposed to be stretching, so maybe I'm just not gonna defoliate anymore and see what happens. Um, I don't know the outcome. I don't know. To be honest, I'll probably defoliate some more. All right, I'm gonna do some more defoliation, take off these big leaves. See yeah, about, they're so beautiful. I just want to let some of those out to breathe. Okay, James is defoliated. You can see down in, oops, you can see down in there now. You can see these branches are finally stretching, which I think is because I have switched the lighting to flower. Alright, now they got some breathing room. I tried running my hand up in between them and there's actually some space. And you can see down in there. Um, but yeah, this is day nine of flower. Um, you can see I'm finally getting some stretch. This stem actually has 
few inches in between notes, which is good, I guess. I uh, got some huge leaves. This one right here. If you count those points right there, that's a 14 point leaf, which I think is pretty cool. This new growth, it's a little hard to tell on the camera, but it's a little bit yellower than usual, I think, maybe. See all those little hairs are still on there. These roots are looking kind of dark, which is a little concerning. Um, but you know the chiller's been running. So the uh, great white is in there. Uh, I always wonder what that stuff is. I think my theory is that it's some of the great white bacteria that has died because I keep my reservoir so cold. Hey guys, I was trying to take a picture of what I thought might be pre-flower and I noticed this. Check that out. I think that is a drip, but it is probably what was causing the holes in my leaves. So, I need to deal with them. In my quick Googling, I found out that maybe neem oil can help. So I guess I'm gonna get some of that and spray them down. I just went to the my local hydroponic store and got um, this stuff. All right, I sprayed them. You can see the spray on there. So I'll be monitoring these. Quick update on the clones. No, no signs of roots. This. That maybe? Honestly, I'm not sure what they would look like. Alright, day 10 since flower. Um, nothing here. So, if, there's a if there are bugs, they're not flying. I haven't seen any around yet. Um, you can see in here is... Here actually. Damn leaves. See that? That is what I think is the pre flower. Hope. I hope it's the pre flower. Let's take a quick look here at the roots. This is what we're looking at here. I think they're darker. I mean, honestly, this is the is almost closed here. You can see how much light is getting through. So, I'm definitely not sealing out enough light. But, it's what I'm working with now. Maybe I'll go through the trouble of taping it all up. Could help with insulation as well. But yeah, all right. I am going to uh, compile this into a video now and upload. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Cheers.